Hello everyone, I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. Today let's see what's the problem with this LG 42 inch LCD LED TV, LED that is a LCD screen, DFT screen with a LED backlight. So this TV actually as per customer they say there are white bright dots on the screen. Here you can see the backlights, you can see the backlight LED bulbs glowing. brightly and when we shake when we lift this TV there are some parts moving inside the sound appears as if there are some loose parts that are moving from one side to another that means the these LED bulbs which you see the LED lamps that is light, light emitting diodes these diodes they have a diffuser glass above them fixed and maybe those diffuser glass have come out, they have fallen down. Because of that, you see only the bright spots as you can see here LG. On this logo behind you can see only a few of the bright spots, round bright spots. So we need to fix those diffusers on the LED itself and then the brightness will appear. So let's continue and do the repairing work. First of all, disconnect the TV from the mains. Now we need to remove all the screws, but in this case, the customer has already removed the screws and where he had kept the screws, I do not know. So I have to remove only these two screws. I will remove those and start the repair work. These screws also are, are also not mounted properly, they are loose. and push it upside and remove it the back cover now for removing the front that is the main screen LCD panel front panel uh, I will not remove the screen with the suction cup but what I will do is I keep the screen on the mattress here itself and remove only the back this aluminium frame for that we need to remove these screws here see all these screws then we can we will be able to remove the front panel take a screwdriver with a smaller bit all the screws on the border that is on the front frame that holds the LCD in place. This way for removing the front panel we will have to remove the sheet here. The Okay. This big 
Remember that the screws on the bottom side of the border of the frame, front frame are longer than the screws on the side and top as you can see here. The screws on the bottom are longer than the, than the screws on the top and the side. Sound. 
like something is not falling. As you can see, there are, there are locks like this. So we need to lock it. Slide it this way and unlock it. Hope you saw it how, how to unlock. Just slide it in this way. In that way we can unlock this side. Now the frame is free. This is the frame. Put it aside safely. So now hold the TV. Hold the screen with your fingers it's gently. Don't press them. Turn the TV upside down. Okay. Now remove the boards. Please see that. Remove the boards gently by removing them from the rubber blocks here be careful that you will not damage the off ICs here chip on film ICs do not damage them just remove the PCB from the rubber block and just get it upside down here so this way turn it out now lift the frame by the edge in this way got it? You can see now you can see the screen is here see that no dust falls on the screen that is this is the back side of the screen which which goes inside the TV and not front so now see that it won't damage the back side of the screen nor any dust falls on the uh, back side of this screen so if any dust falls it will be difficult to clean it so now we will continue with fixing the diffusers on the LEDs let me take the stand there Here you see now we need to remove this black frame this the black frame from the main TV frame that is aluminium frame from removing the back I'll show you for removing the back frame here we have these locks you see just put it up here in this way yes it should come out like this here you can see on the edge as well so this way here it's free so we need to remove all the locks let me continue with removing the locks. You can hear the noise of the computers going upside down, moving upside down. frame is free from all the sides
black frame. This frame is of plastic, so then you want to take it. And as we can see, there are multi layers here. Okay. As you can see, there are multiple layers of sheets, plastic sheets. See, see here, multiple layers. So hold the thick layer, that is the diffuser sheet here on the bottom, extreme bottom side. This way, pull it, pull, pull it up. Side. If you want, you can keep it on the screen. Okay, now you can see these are the diffusers that need to be fixed on the LED. Okay, these are the LEDs, and these are the diffusers. I need to fix each and every diffuser on the LEDs. Why all the diffusers have come out by themselves, I do not know. See here. All the diffusers are here. So, to fix them, I am using B7000 because the shock paper said that this one is good for fixing these diffusers on the LEDs. Please remember that as the LEDs do heat up a lot, during operation, try to use a glue that is heat resistant and which does not create moisture so that even when the LED is heated, this diffuser will not fall again. So as this has been given by the shopkeeper, I will try it once and if this is going to fail and if you have already tried it and it has failed, then better to use Araldite that is resin and hardener together epoxy adhesive which is like weatherproof and remember one thing that whenever you are fixing these diffusers see that you will not fix the glue anywhere else you will fix the glue only on these three dots and see that the glue is little enough to spread around so that the glue will not come on the LED or will not spread on these diffusers and cause a blurry image, unwanted image. So see that we will take the glue in this way, okay. Apply the on the dots, not on the surrounding. The three dots on the diffuser should match the these dots on the LED stick. So I fix all these and keep it for drying or curing the adhesive. Fix it in this way. See here. That's it. Press it and leave it for curing. Let the glue dry. Now we have fixed the all all the LEDs. As you can see all the diffusers on each and every LED. 
we will switch it and check it for testing purpose. Let us switch it on and check. Okay, as you can see, all the LEDs are switched on. Remove the means code. should see place the groove given a chair here this stopper here on both the sides it should be in between and this switch should enter these screws here you can see this there are those on the top and bottom. So these notch which are sitting in the grooves here provided. So okay. Take a microfiber cloth, clean it once. dirt in between the layers of these sheets of spreading light okay see any dust or rocks you can clean them one by one sheet one by one now after wanting these sheets layers of white sheets and dust black frame okay you can see a felt here oh, sheet like felt the screen should be mounted on this so this one should come on the top this layer should come on the top and this should go on the bottom so in this way As you can see this is broader here this is thin here this is the inside this is broader the broader should should go on the downside of the screen here as you can see near the decon board set and place it on the screen for that let us clean the back side of the screen you will see we will clean it a bit the same microfiber 
plot. Just not use any chemical. Now I bring the back. Place it on the panel. The port side, this one, this port side should come on the down bottom side. Be careful, see here, you can see. fold it or will not bend it, it is not twisted, if you twist it, you may damage it. That's it, it's easy, and now turn it upside down, if you are in this way, yes. Fix this PCB here. The top side should go inside. Okay. 
the speakers. that if any of the capacitors have any uh, normal appearances just replace them and fix all these screws in this case as you know I didn't have any screws or the screws are with the customer so I'll fix only these two which he had one if you are with the TV. Now we'll switch it on and check. Okay. Let's switch it on and check. Okay. Now we can see the LG clearly. Earlier we had only see only the white patches of LED lamps now the cube is coming on properly with proper brightness hope this video was helpful for you in preparing your TV by your own uh, without changing and replacing any parts this video was helpful for you kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.